Welcome back guys to Jared the Journeyman. Today we're going to go over how to use the keyword index. You will need this in your testing because about half of your test is probably a lookup question. They'll ask you something wanting to know a size, a depth, um, minimum clearance, whatever it is. And you, you guys got to be able to know how to look that up and get the correct answer. Also, you can use this out in the field if you come up with questions. You can look that up real quick in your keyword index and find the answer to your question. So let's get started. Let me get this going. Bear with me for a second. And we'll go from there. All right. Keyword index. The index is in alphabetical order. The index is not based on pages, it's based on articles. So when it gives you a reference, it'll give you an article reference, not a page number. And common street verbiage is not used in the index. So get used to the correct uh, verbiage that we use. It's not um, conduit most of the time, it's tubing, uh, EMT, which is uh, tubing, not conduit. So just keep that in mind. So let's get started. The only way I know how to really do this is to just get you guys to dive right in and get after it. So we'll go with this question right here. The smallest copper overhead service conductors allowed for service are blank AUG. And your options are eight, six, four, and two. So when you're reading this, you need to pull out some key words that they're really uh, asking you. And so some of the key, the major keyword is overhead service conductors and copper. So we need to go to the back of our book in our keyword index and look up overhead service conductors. So flip through there. And this is out of the 2017 code. So if you're running out of the 2020, or if you're lucky enough to be running out of the 2023, it may be a little bit different, but the concept's the same, guys. Um, it's going to be same throughout your whole career until a major, major change comes, and I haven't seen one uh, proposed yet on your keyword index. So anyways, we're looking for overhead service conductors. When you guys find that, look underneath. First off, do you notice it's giving you Article uh, 230? Article 230 is services. So get to know that article reference. And so um, you've got overhead service clearance, the definition, which is in Article 100, uh, installation and covering, location, means of attachment, and minimum size, points of attachment, support over buildings. But we're looking for minimum size because of the how the question was asked they wanted to know the minimum size of conductor copper conductor for the service so now we take that go to um, article 230 and if we go to article 230 part two that's the overhead service conductors and remember that was asked in our question so we go to 230 um 23 size and rating that's what the the uh index directed us to and then we look down and boom 230.23b is minimum size which reads the conductor shall not be smaller than eight aug copper or six aug aluminum or copper clad aluminum keep in mind that when you're testing it's usually everything's in copper unless stated aluminum. And then you can see that there's some exceptions down here. Uh, this one does not apply to our question, but some of the questions that you will get, the answer is pulled out of the exception. So keep that in mind also, guys. So going back to our question, the smallest copper overhead service conductors allowed for a service are blank AUG. And the answer is eight. So guys, that's what you guys need to learn how to use that index. Take your questions that you have 
Uh, if you need some practice questions, hit me up. I will leave a link below. I believe I have some questions online. You can you can use that uh, those questions to practice this, but you have to practice, 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 practice pulling out those keywords. Take what you know and answer what you don't know. So pull the keywords out, look up in the back of the book, and then that will take you into the articles themselves. And then you get to answer the questions there. Whoops. So let me escape. Hope I didn't lose you guys. Oh, there we are. All right. So um, take that. Um, practice those index articles going through their alphabetic order. Guys, another quick little um, hint or key is to go in there and mark in your book as small as you can or whatever in the back of your index first page should start with an A and then go to the second page and it will be A and then B and then B and then C whenever it changes from B to C to C to D throughout the whole alphabet. Mark that on top of your, your book and mark it down below. Because when you're flipping through that thing and you're you're needing time, you can just look down, flip through it, say, oh, I'm in A. I need to be back in M for mobile homes or something. So you, you can flip through real quick without having to, to really concentrate on that one. So, guys, I hope this helped out on your journeyman's test, your master's test. You can do the same thing, master's or journeyman, and uh, it'll get you through that. So practice, practice, practice. Guys, thank you for watching. If you got something out of this, leave me a like, subscribe. Um, I am adding more stuff to my playlist. Also, I am conducting a online tutoring if you guys need help with that. But from now on, from there on, you guys got it. Practice, practice, practice. This test will not give it up easy. Kind of like a... <laughs> Kind of like the Friday night date you call on Thursday afternoon for Friday night. You may give it up a little bit easier than the girl you've got to work for about two or three weeks just to get a date. So think of that. Think of it kind of like that. She's not going to give it up easy. Um, so take that for what you will. And we will talk soon.